How do I put this? How do I put this? I find it strange. I find it absolutely amusing. I find it sad. I find it a problem that you all attack each other. And you don't attack the message that each other's saying. You attack the people behind the message. Now, I didn't attack Rod. I told you Rod's circumstances. I didn't attack Wayne. I told you the lies that he was telling you. And this is where you have to realise. These people haven't been telling you the truth, and you are not ascertaining the truth. You are constantly sharing misinformation because you believe it's the truth. But none of you have actually got to the point where you've done the research to ascertain whether what you're sharing is the truth. And that's quite sad. We've come to this state of affairs where 10 years later, you're still sharing shit that was not true 10 years ago. It was proven not true 10 years ago, and you're still sharing it like it's the truth. Don't you think this is a problem? Don't you think that people like Rod Cullerton should do the research that other people have done? Don't you think people like Wayne Glue should pay attention to the research that other people have done? I've looked into Wayne's work, Rod's work, Sue Maines's work, David John Walter's work. I've looked into Scott Bartle's work. I've looked into many people's work over the years. And all I'm seeing is you lot sharing shit because you're angry. You're not sharing shit because you know what it means. You haven't even got the ability to ascertain what it means. So let's hit the nail on the head. I said this in my last video. In Melbourne there is the King's Domain. It was opened in 1933-34 and it's been looked after by police in Victoria ever since. Your King's Domain is being looked after by policy enforcers, not the army. A king should be defended by an army. And here you have a shrine with a coronation stone inside it being managed by policy enforcers. Why? Might it be because you've never actually used your kingdom ever? Might it be that when Billy Hughes went to the Treaty of Versailles and signed on Australia's behalf, and became a kingdom of Australia as per Imperial Conference. You never actually stepped into that realm. Maybe the crown in London conned you back out of it again in 1939. And you've never actually sat in your own kingdom. It's kind of bizarre, isn't it? So let's look at something very important. On the Shrine of Remembrance, there is an imperial crown anchored on the door. What this represents is that your realm was anchored at that point in the shrine. You are an imperial crown realm, the Australian imperial crown. It's formed in the king's domain. It's formed in that shrine. That shrine is linked by the king's way to the prince's highway, which turns left into Canberra along the King's Highway. When it gets into Canberra, it meets up with Parliament House. And as I've already explained, King George stands out the front of Parliament House with an imperial crown on the statue. And when you walk up to the front of Parliament House, there's an imperial crown atop the coat of arms atop Parliament House. King George stands inside old Parliament House as per the statue out the front. The highways of the Princess Highway and the King's Way lead you all the way to the Shrine of Remembrance linking the crown to its coronation stone. And you are all believing that a St Edward's crown introduced in 1953 is your crown. It's not. It never was. You have a Catholic crown with a monarch 
who openly admitted in 1957 she couldn't command your armies, who openly admitted in 1957 that it was your fault, who openly admitted in 1957 that you as a people are the only ones that can get out of it together. And you choose to play these stupid law games. You choose to get out of fines. You choose to argue with Parliament. You choose to argue with judges. You choose to argue with the Governor-General and the Queen. And you never, ever, 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 ever looked at who you were. And this is where your problem arose. Because you've been listening to all these law tards. They're the retarded ones. They're the ones trying to get out of fines. They're the common law groups who try to tell you that your common law exists under this crown when you are imperial. They're the retards that won't explain why this government needs Imperial Acts Application Acts. If it needed to apply something, it would have been imperial law, not an imperial law applied. It's time to actually think about what the fuck's going on, people. The Queen told you what was going on and none of you listened. The Queen told you she couldn't help you. The Queen told you she couldn't command your armies. The Queen told you it was your fault. The Queen told you you could get out of it together. But you all want to get out of it individually, don't you? You all want to fight the system to be the ego-driven wanker that wants the top spot. Look at me. I fixed it for everybody. You're a retard. You seriously are a retard. We have to do this together. It's our imperial realm, and none of you are honourable to it. You're all arguing over a double crown situation. You never ever considered who you were. You never ever considered where you came from. You never ever considered how your Anzac sealed for you law. You all play this stupid game where you believe a St. Edward's crown has the right to come and dictate to you in your country. Are you retarded? Citizenship was introduced in 1948 and the High Court played Section 44 over you over citizenship, which did not exist in 1900. Are you this stupid? Are you honestly this retarded to think that the High Court can argue citizenship and the fact that someone is not a citizen and deny you what your right was from 1901 to 1948? Are you this stupid? Are you honestly this retarded? You've let a foreign crown, I will repeat that, a foreign crown, enter your country, take over your imperial crown, issue citizenship, and you all boarded that crown to take your citizenship. And you all ignored your imperial crown that lay underneath it. The thing that was actually being administered under the rules of usufruct. The thing that actually was created by you becoming citizens. You now fly this blue flag. None of you can even explain. I'm still watching, years later, misinterpretations of the facts that were given to you years ago. You still don't know what your flag is. That's sad. You still don't know that a government flag is blue. You still don't know that in 1900, 1901, a blue flag was issued to the government, and that changed in 1908. You all think this blue flag is your flag. When are you going to fly 
a federal red ensign. Federal. Not national. Federal. You are a federal body of people. And you've allowed a government under a foreign crown to come along and tell you you're not that people. Go and look at the treaties of 1939 under Robert Menzies and you'll find out that these people changed your entire education system and stopped telling you that you were united. They started telling you you were divided. They started dividing 420 million people of an empire into nation states and turned them against each other. 420 million people of one crown who had the ability to go and travel without passports and you've allowed a nation state to come along and segment 420 million people into 54 nation states of a British Commonwealth. You all allowed this to occur. You've just given up your entire history. You've given up all of your protections. You've given up all of your Bible law. You chose citizenship. You chose to join a foreign vessel. You chose to take its credit. And in taking its credit, it's run the rules ever since. Get this into your heads. Stop trying to defend what is foreign. Stop trying to understand what is foreign. How about you start looking at what you are? How about you start looking at your crown? How about you start looking at what was occupied? How about you start looking at how to get out of it? How about you start looking at what the citizenship actually is? And now I'll address you, Scott Morrison. You want to put Section 44 before the High Court over citizenship? You need to have a look at 1901 and the fact that no citizenship actually existed. And you need to tell the people what you're actually doing when you lie about section 44 in the court. You need to tell the people what realm you're operating out of and you need to tell the people why the High Court is ignoring Imperial Crown Law. It's that simple. Section 44 wouldn't be read the way it was read in the High Court if you were actually following the Constitution 1900. That's basically that simple. You're a liar. The High Court lies to all of the people in relation to Section 44. This doesn't come into Rod Cullerton. Rod Cullerton was a bankrupt. That comes under a slightly different section to citizenship. So even if the de jure constitution came into play, Rod Cullerton would be going against it. But the people of Australia need to know, what is Section 44? What is citizenship? How does it relate to Section 44, Scott Morrison? What is a citizen? What is the Imperial Crown? What is the St Edward's Crown? Are you going to tell these people? Are you going to tell these people that you flew a blue flag and issued your cabinet with a blue flag pin literally within 10 hours of me issuing you with a red flag and the history of our Commonwealth? Are you going to tell the people what I did to you? You're not. You're going to hide that under the carpet because they're all your citizens. You've got us all fucked. And we're waking up. You don't destroy people's lives. You're the crown. You're there to defend people's lives. So everybody, which crown does he work for?